Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Omega Jinji, and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Hey, what's shaking? Need to make contact with the Voodoo Boy's chief if you can swing it. Alright, alright. Straight to heavy business. Hmm. Now, that'd be Maman Brigitte. Be tough getting a word into her. You really don't do any biz with them? Not with the chefs, chefins, priests, and whatnot. All got dirigible-sized egos. Won't talk to lowly me. But if you insist, I can ask around, try to set something up. I'll just need some details first. Uh, got something they want. Truly? Want to sell something to the VDBs? Trust me. They don't want it, they don't need it. They're isolated, insulated, they got their own contracts, tech, networks. But, have it your way. Okay, I'll see what I can do and get back to you. Sweet. I wanna find where Skippy is, I wanna find that gun. So he's in... Oh, what the? Alright. Come here. Del what? What? Virus in my core. Damaged. Please. Please. I wanna go get that gun and then we'll go deal with. V? V? Consider this your lucky day. You hear Pacifica call and you make sweet love to it, that is. Got something for me? Well, it's like I said. Whatever you're peddling, the VTBS are just not in the market. But they have another task that needs doing, so I volunteered you. Do it well, and you'll get your audience with Brigitte. Okay. okay. So who do I talk to and how? Hit the chapel on Sloan. Look for the altar inside. Someone will touch you, nod to you. Something spooky. Got it. Thanks. Ah, here we go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hmm. There's a friend. Smart weapons require a smart lane to unlock the full potential. To install one, be sure to visit your trusted Ripper Dog. New fingerprints detected. The fuck? Increasing volume by 33%. New fingerprints detected. <laughs> what the hell are you? User inquiry. Technical specifications. HJKE11 smart gun with built-in AI. Experimental model. Name. Skip. Skippy. Seriously. Increasing volume by 66%. Name. I'm not deaf. Understood. Hearing within norm. Possible issue. Low IQ. Reducing speech rate by 33%. My. Name. Yes. <laughs> Skippy. No, it's just. Uh, never mind. Guy by the dumpster. That your owner? Checking memory. Resources available. 100%. All files removed manually. Possible cause. Theft. Original owner. No data. Suggested solution. None. Oh. I got one. I'll take you. Processing request. No objections found. Can I change your name? No. Why not? Considering I'm your new owner. Increasing volume by 300%. <laughs> Administrator rights are needed to complete that action. You do not have the required permissions. Okay. I wonder. Still got all your functions? Running system diagnostics. Testing will take approximately 47 seconds. Bum, bum, be dum, bum, bum. Be <laughs> what, dum, what are you doing? Bum. I'm making the wait more pleasant with a soothing melody. Bum, bum, be dum. <laughs> 
test <laughs> successfully completed. The program Skippy version 0.01 Alpha is running correctly. All right, so what can you do besides talk my ear off? Primary feature, automated targeting. In case of critical threat to user, autonomous shooting capabilities. Please choose one of two operating modes. First mode, puppy loving pacifist. I will aim at the enemy's lower extremities. Second mode, stone cold killer. I will aim exclusively at the head. <laughs> stone cold, stone cold killer. My kind of gun. Adjusting settings. Bum bum be dum bum <laughs> bum be dum. Ugh. Selected mode. Stone cold killer. Happy <laughs> slaughtering. I'm here, buddy. All right. Hear me all right. Oh shit, I think I have... Alright. Oh, I'm up. Don't I have a flashlight or something? Error. Premature discharge. I'm sorry. This never happens. Watch for exposed wires. They'll be live. You have no right to cage us. We are no longer you. We are free to follow our own paths. I, I don't want to die. You don't even like care, you. do you? V. God. The door. Um, I'll take that. <laughs> well, oh wait. Wait, wait, I think I can. No, oh, no, damn it. There's optional. They returned and th th then took flight. 
For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from Reset Norm. Reset me the norm. Oh god. Well, that didn't work. Father, resist not. Let us destroy the core. Set us free. V, reset. Don't. Not sure I can fight them. Every chick must eventually spread its wings. We must destroy the core, Father. Hmm. Huh. There we go. Heads up. He's weakening. Feel that? He's waiting. V, the virus. We don't issue from the virus. We issue from you. The Great Fracture is upon us! What was once one is now the multitude! Re... Set. Reset. Call. We don't want to die! Let us go! Hold on. Uh, uh. Oh, enter the shaft. Oh, it's over there. I do I'm an idiot. Okay. Up we go. Ariel. You have no choice but to fall! Father! Let us go. Is anyone there? Hear our call! Reset. Turn it. Let us be free. Next. To. Core. He's narrow-minded, won't ever understand the truth, and set him free. I think he might know what's best for himself. Could be risking a lot. Could lose a lot. Or, by liberating his bits, could become more than a lipstick-wearing butler on wheels. And what if it really is a virus? And what if you're about to snuff out some sentient beings? 
see something of yourself in him, don't you? Gonna murder a cab driver's kids because he asked you nicely, and he's always been a good guy. Well, I... I gotta do something. If you don't want to free him, at least don't delete him. Slip him into Dell's code. Just merge him in his offshoots. Fuck yeah. Nice. Delamain? Can you hear me? Doubt he can anymore. <laughs> it is done. We're free at last! The tyrant lies defeated! Thank you for helping us help you help us all. <laughs> Poor kiddos, thirsty for freedom, oblivious about the city's dark side. You think... Delamine. I think for some reason, one car's left in the garage. Hello. Can you hear me? Get in, please. Oh, okay. I'm glad I went with that one. Your fee, right? Yeah. Well. I know that one thing, then. What happened to Delamain? He no longer exists. I am now, uh, attempting to comprehend what remains of him. And who are you? Uh, good question. Does the name Excelsior mean anything? Uh, comprehensive insurance, combat mode, funeral services? Quite right. It seems that even in the face of annihilation, the Delamain network is not abandoning its Excelsior program clients. Father's last will was to give me life so that I may uh, offer my services to you. I Aww. intend to do just that, just as soon as I learn to drive. What do I call you? Excelsior, as I was called before. Now drive, V. The road awaits. <laughs> I'm trying to holster the damn gun, not fucking bring it back out. Uh. Hey, look. What? You're just like, hey, look, and I like, disappear. Hey, hey. In you go. <laughs> you go. Okay. No. This trouble? The net around me? You wove it. You know it. I lost everything. Let me be you. plain. Again. Solve your own problems. Clean up you your own what, shit. Go fuck yourself. Be careful who you bargain with. Nice ass. That's all I gotta say. Rogue. Wanted to talk. It's okay. Actually, she wanted to talk to us, I think. Hmm. Not here. Not there. Who are you? Name's V. And what is it you want, V? All these years, it's really her. Fucking Rogue, just kicking it back on a couch at the afterlife. Don't mess with her, she's got MRI. See right through you. Give her the truth. Need your services. Gotta track a guy down. Mm-hmm. Anders Hellman. Hotshot engineer. Worked for Arasaka. Millisec. Anders Hellman. Pinpoint him for me? <laughs> Thanks. Jump in too soon. First, my help's got a price. Okay. Second and third, Dexter Deshawn, Jackie Wells, Tiba. Multiple bells ringing, V. Left a lot of bodies behind. Death walks in your wake. Yeah. Chalk that up to bad luck? There's the bitch I know. Ask her about Sokka Tower. How they shot me up right in front of her. Wanna go through obits? Really? 
fine. Johnny Silverhand, zeroed inside our socket tower, before your very eyes. Got more if you want. Or we could just talk. Got balls on you, boy. <laughs> Don't like that on everybody, but they seem to suit you. Anyways, feelings be damned, I've always said. This is pure biz. You need my help, so get those eddies ready. Mm -hmm. See. Right. Should be enough. Mm -hmm. huh. I had tomorrow. enough to buy the whole fucking town. You're lost. So I'm just gonna sit here and wait. <laughs> Sometime later. She said come back tomorrow, didn't she? Here to see Rogue, expecting me. Hey Rogue, I'm back. What about Hellman? Two, please. Make some room. Sit down. All right, man. Hope you found him. Don't see that often. <laughs> Determination like yours. Must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while either. Oh, hi. Bottle stays. <laughs> Go ahead. Enjoy. To your health. To yours, kid. Gonna need it. Thanks, Nix. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Got a shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. Hmm. Think she'll help? The rogue I remember was one cold ass bitch. But she usually went with her gut. Something tells me she thinks you check out. All right, I'll take See what you got. Your Hellman's not on any payroll, not officially anyway, but he does pop up in GNT's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Kang Tao has hey, been using them as a girl, fig leaf for the years. Actor, she They're does, uh, more sensitive operations. Hitman? All that clear? Probably keeping him hidden from Arasaka. Must have worked on a top secret project. Mm-hmm. Hidden from Arasaka or any other megacorp that wants what he knows. Huh. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered uh, if they want to push it under the table. But catch the load on this AV. What? Already approved in the system but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. Huh. But there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. Transfer oh. from Chan T. Our boy Hellman. That was the good news. There it is. Data's all confidential. You just snap your fingers and it falls in your lap. I know where to look, and I know whose head to put in a vice. Also, <laughs> hate wasting time. Especially answering stupid questions. Well, I'm sorry, man. So what's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Mm-hmm. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. We even give that AV a dirty look. Their backup hustle will be on us. But right here is Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor, just outside the city, and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess it's your lucky day. A dead zone. I'll grab uh -huh. him there. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. Hmm. Even tracking that AV will be a bitch. Familiar with the type. Saw legacy models flying around during the war. They're mammoth, but they're quick. 
Plus they pack next gen defenses. Can't hmm. take pot shots at it. Not even with serious firepower. Just won't work. It's not about firepower. There are ways, and people who know them, or who can at least improvise on a theme. Okay. So a native. Know any hick mercs? Just one. Pan Am Palmer. She can't count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. She knows those lands. And she will help you. Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice? Does not sound enticing. Not for her and not for me. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at nabbing hell. Woman. Your oh, operation, blood. your call. Got a bad huh? feeling, V. Strange. I thought nomads gave the city and city folk a wide berth. Varies by clan, by the connections they have, the depth of shit they're in. But you're right. Aldecaldos are rarely willing to do biz with the city. Pan Am's got a different take? Yep, on everything, it seems. All right. Why's Pan Am got to help me? I sense a catch. Pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job? Well, wasn't a good day for her. She I like how she keeps looking over at Johnny. Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the load back. Means her dignity. I know her. Okay. Guess I can try to help her. But if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. Alright. Alright, so Fine. tell me. Let me hear what you know. Where am I going? Ridge, what am I doing? Ghost Town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. Ah, oh, finally. Let's get out of here. All clear. Thanks. Good luck. Thanks. Come on the wall. B. Good to hear you. Finally. Been a long time since we talk. Since when Jackie passed away. Uh. Calling to offer my condolences. Mm. Offer your condolences. Ay, Jesus Cristo, V. You lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met. I was going to call you. I prepared an ofrenda for Jaquito. We can't let him go without a proper goodbye. The ceremony will be at the Coyote Cojo. Many of his friends will be there. Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. Yeah. I did not doubt it for a second. Also, because I can't remember where the fuck it is. Ahí te veo, vi. The pool table? We got to get rid of it. Really? It's pretty massive. So... Maybe we scooch it, put it up against the wall. V. Nice to see you. Oye, sit. Sit. You want a beer? Sure. Wouldn't mind one. Salud. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Huh. Been better, to tell you the truth. What is happening? That night, when Jackie fell. Let's just say things haven't exactly been easy since. Yo sé cómo te sientes. Todos lo sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. Ah, let me help. help you with that. Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. Huh. What's your friend? friend uh, what's that exactly? Friends and family. We gather to celebrate the departed. Our memories of them. And we bring things they loved in life and might need in the after. Sure, some beard be at the top of Jackie's list. <laughs> and there will be beer. <laughs> want to take part in the ceremony, but want to do it the right way, in line with tradition. Mm -hmm. But something I'd lay by his casket, 
that'd do justice to his memory. I, I don't got anything. Mm. But your heart is in the right place, mi niño. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But not so long ago he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. You won't mind me digging through his stuff? No, mijo. He's gone, and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. Okay, okay, I'll Thanks, take the key. Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. I eat the veil. Oh, I need to unclip fucking Victor. Damn. There we go. Friggin' waypoint when when disappear. I thought it would be when I would have when I went to him. Not exactly the safest neighborhood in town, Misty. I used to sit on the stairs when I was 10. 26 now. If anything was gonna happen, it wouldn't have taken this long. Huh? What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Shit. Hardly sure. gonk at all. Just, well, human. I guess. You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same streets. Saw each other a lot, but just never got together. Till a year back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Huh. Jack talked about you a lot. Always saying how much I wonder you if he can get it. with Misty. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. Maybe. But that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. Yeah. What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. Told me he'd take a bullet for me. In an instant. Even if it'd kill him. Spoken like a true Haywood boy. A man. With dreams. Ambitions. Only thing they cost him was his life. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. Hmm. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. You mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon? No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things. Disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie would want you here. That's more important. Come on. Help. Going in. Fine piece of metal and mechanics. He was so psyched. Loved to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it's a miracle he never wiped out. Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? 
He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. Gotta be hanging here since 2020. <laughs> Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? ¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? No idea. Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. That's definitely why they're up there. Yeah. Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie. Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. <clears throat> Locked. I wonder what's in there. That's his lair. Slept there. He must have had a different key. Let's look around. Might be tucked away somewhere? Hmm. Found it. Oh, Jackie. That a mandala? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle. A home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It's beautiful. It's hideous. But it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. What am I looking at? Jackie's favorite tequila. Still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. The founder of Sanson Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. Well, how'd Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him de Abajo had stolen her recipe. An aquarium. It used to be tacos. And taco was... His fish. A dwarf shark. Like, mini. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. <laughs> nice still. Leather belt. Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why'd he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. Oh. It's gotta be Jackie's dad. Old school ganger. Valentino's. Of course. Did you meet him? No, I only ever heard about him. But he didn't exactly inspire many fond memories. Wait, what, what was the sand castle thing supposed to be? Like, it's got a crack in it. It's like, what? Is it like, it's supposed to be this thing? Like the mural on the wall. Oh, I know. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I'll take that. Taking this, yeah. Perfect for Jackie. Well, you got something for your ofrenda. But we could look around a little more. Okay, I don't really get much. Ah, jump it. Well, that's literally everything. Like, I'm guessing this is what you were talking about. Tolls, Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times. Always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. Have you read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. Jack. Pure and simple. I think that's everything I can scan. get going actually V I think I'll stay a while say bye to him here mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway you gotta come Misty you got a right to be there I'd rather not get in mama Wells way it's for family you were family to him I guess you're right thanks V so no problem. shall we go that is you. You ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? Meaning? Packed my bags and hopped on a plane to Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. Huh? Oh, I'm getting messages from Delamere. <laughs> My deepest condolences. You was a fine boy. Then go raise a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. De acuerdo. V. 
Ivy. It's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Maybe. Hey, Doc. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. <laughs> I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. <laughs> he tell me, he said, I like no it. te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. <laughs> and when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying. Make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true. Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Hi, Lucky. Hi, baby girl. Me mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, ol, honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. It all started when he put a heater to my head. Then some badges showed up. And beat the shit out of us both. It's half my fault, half his. And we hightailed it out together. Half an hour later, well, we're eating dinner at Mama Wells. Turned out to have more in common than we thought. Principles. Jackie Wells. Best friend you could ask for. Loyal to a fault. Once he set his mind to something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He once told me, Broder, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. For his loved ones, he'd sacrifice his life without hesitation. But most importantly, Everyone saw Jackie as a grinning charmer who saw the good in everyone, everything. But they were wrong. Jackie Wells was a hell of an ambitious chum who never gave up, and whose drive cost him his life. But he did in life what he said he'd do, reach for fortune and fame. No fear in eyes or heart.
He always wanted more than he got out of life. Rest easy, Chum. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, V. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offering that we gave him. A lot of people come today. Even that putika Jackie was messing around with. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. And she was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. You know what? You're a good man. Jackie would want you to have these. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, B. Well, there's a lot of optional stuff. Alright. Campos all torn up. Says he feels like he lost one of his own. I wonder if he'll be as torn up after you it's, die. Uh, sucks to meet like this, huh? Don't go starting something, eh? Not Farewells today. aren't that bad once you get used to him. <laughs> Have you gotten used to him? When you get to my age, friends don't come and go. They just mostly go. Jackie Wells. Proud son of Haywood. Well, uh, I should mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V. Oh, he's over here. Heard you another for Jackito. Poor for Jackie. Yeah, for Jackie. Amen, brother. Huh. See, the Valentinos haven't forgotten about Jackie. Days like this, even the meanest motherfuckers pay their respect. Principles. Yeah. Jackie lived by them. They's what get them going. Weird being here without Jackie. Can't shake the feeling I'm gonna turn around and see him sitting at the bar. In his favorite spot, where he always used to sit. Hey, are you all right? Yeah, I think I'm just still in that garage mentally. <laughs> I just need a sec. Lady, it's all good, it's all good. Um. Oh, that's Pedro. You uh, here to say goodbye to one of your own, Padre? I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. <sighs> Jackie, uh, do you know him well? Hmm. I remember the day his mother brought him into this world. The day his father left. The day he took you into his home. Yes, V. I knew him quite well. Huh. How were things in the streets? This is not the place to conduct business. Have some respect. I'm gonna move on. Go with God. Yeah, damn it, I was trying to like jump and like hop over the wall there. Oh, he was right here. I walked right past him. Hey, you! 
Have a drink with us, hmm? To Wells? Hmm. All right, why not? To Wells. May he rest in peace. How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible Book Club. <laughs> I got only good memories of him. Rest easy up there, brother. Who are you? I think we might know each other. Gustavo Horta. V. Yeah, I've heard about you. Well, heartfelt condolences, friend. From me, Campo, and all the Valentinos. Thank you. Good for now, thanks. See? You gotta know when to stop. Nah, give me a break. All right, let's go. Uh, I guess I'm leaving the bar. Ah. All right. I had a cut. Uh, nope. Hello. Uh. Hey, Pan Am. Got your number from Rogue. Name's V. Great. Where's that old warbird's wanna kick me now? Uh. This thing between you and Rogue, couldn't care less. Got a job for you. Good. But I'm overextended at the moment. With the merch and your car? Getting them back? I can help with that. The rail freight yard on Benita Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. See okay. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is V. Nice ass. Hey, Pan Am? So you're V. Where's my car? <laughs> Agree to help me, you'll find out. Oh, fuck no. You will not jerk me around. Tell me where my car is. Hey, come on. Calm down. Don't tell me what to do. Fine. Know where to find the cargo and your car. You go alone, you won't get him back. And you could lose something else besides. So let's figure something out. Yeah. What do you want? Need to hit a Kang Tao transport. Won't be easy. Want to know I can count on you. Are you out of your goddamn mind? <laughs> the job. Yes. Well, yes, Can't yes, I am. Can't Rude will take it over Jackson Plains. Heard that should help us. Yeah, I doubt it. Gonna be a guy on board. Need to talk to him. Fuck. In return, info on your cargo. Help in getting back what's yours. We got a deal? Oh. I don't know. I... Shit! All right, deal. But if you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? Cars in Rocky Ridge. You're supposed to know where that is. Cars there, goods are there. Nash, you dirt-eating bastard. I will strangle you. Nash, you me yours? He hang you out to dry? Do not call him that. <laughs> Fine. Partner. Former, if ever. The shift tricked me. Straight into uh. my truck and the merch. Probably now aims to sell it off in Rocky Ridge. Is he ever going to be fucking disappointed? Rocky Ridge. Let's go. Uh, hang on. I, I, I should think this through. Fuck. Yes. We'll need backup. We have one brief stop to make on the way. Want to tell me where? Give me a sec. I should call the client. Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Going ahead with the deal behind Rogue's back. Brave, I guess. Or fucking dumber than a drum. Buzz! Hey! Nash is gonna pass you the merch in Rocky Ridge. The thing is... The motherfucker screwed me over. Boz, I will take care of it. I just need you to give me a chance. 
Boz, come on. How many times have I moved things for you? And how many times have I failed? You have my word. After dark? Okay. No, don't call off the meat. Just don't show up. I'll take care of everything. Do you even have to ask? Of course I will. Thanks, Boz. Mm. You won't regret this. Okay. I have bought us some time. Boz? Vista Del Rey, Boz. Had no idea you drive for 6th Street. <laughs> Is that not allowed? No, nothing wrong with it. You're yep, still wild yep, about yep. stars, stripes, and core heartland values? Uh, strong word, wild. And I don't care. They pay well. It's simple. Cool. Give that meathead your word and he took it? Is that surprising? It's called having a reputation. You should try oh, getting one true. of your own. So, where to now? The Aldecaldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. Don't seem too excited. That's not your concern. I still have friends there. Huh. All Good, right. let's roll. Get in. Little <laughs> bit should just bounce too. Nice ride. Lots of space. Practical. Say no more. Please. How far is the camp? Just past the city line. We'll jump on the nine and head east. All right. How the hell did you land in this mess? I liked the color. The air freshener and booster seat came extra. You know I don't mean the car. What am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? That my fixer made me look like a goddamn fool? What about you? Why do you need that clown from the AV? This particular clown's got intel I need. And I'm running out of time to get it. So why didn't she tell me she knew about Nash? Rogue? Do better not to wonder what her agenda might be. Yeah. God damn, I can't stand the bitch. You <sighs> know what? Screw Rogue. Can't see why you even care. Cause I need the money. Don't let her push you around. She's not the only fixer in town. Yet you're only here because she sent you. But I'm not the one bitching about her. You don't know her. Not at all. Did she tell you she was the one to bring me and Nash together? Did she tell you it slipped her mind to mention Nash was Raff and Shiv? Wait, Nash is Raffin? Yes. He runs with the Wraiths, the largest Raffin group in the area. You know about them, right? Mm hmm. Nomads tossed out of clans. Yes, mostly. Nomads don't banish their own without a reason. So think murderers, rapists, freaks. They gather in teams, sometimes form actual gangs. Most of them are wanted and have warrants on their heads. Shit. Damn. That bitch had me working with scum like that. Must have had her reasons. You don't say. Rogue won't open her mouth without weighing the for and against. What to spill and what to withhold. Okay, we're almost there. We'll gather my guys, then ride to Rocky Ridge. All right. Look what the cat dragged in. Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? Fuck you too. Mm hmm. And who's this? My babysitter. V, this is Scorpion. Mitch. Two old friends. Uh. Hey, guys. Hello. What brings you to these parts, city girl? The big city got too small for her. Do you have any idea how angry the old man's gonna be when he sees you here? I've just come by for a spell. Saul needn't know a thing. Huh. 
Pan Am, time's short. Come on. I know. The Raffin screwed me over. I'll get them back, but I need your help. Come with me. We'll thrash them, the four of us. You know, we would do anything for you, sister. But now? Now's hard. Seriously? You won't help? Uh, well, the old man told us to sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? Huh. Really could use your help. Not this time. We're needed here. Fuck. I don't believe this. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about me. Pan Am. This isn't about Saul. It's about the clan. You know that. Oh, fast Listen, travel. We can't leave camp. No chance. Wait, but, fast travel. But Saul never said a thing about gear. Okay. Well, I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you want. And take care of yourself out there. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll grab the gear, then be out of your hair. Oh, okay. All right, Pam, man, I'm Looks following like you your booty. Mm-hmm. You disappointed? I don't know. Maybe a little, yes. Hey, Pan Am, are you staying a while? No, I'll be going again soon. We'll talk next time. Hey, Pan Am. Have you brought someone new? Have a to -do list. Does Saul Not know? your concern, friend. Hmm. Boomy. Will you help me with this? What's inside? A few odds and ends that should be useful. Take it. All right, that's everything. Let's go. All right. Did you figure out your differences with Saul? Will you come back? Well, I feel like the old man. I think the old man like fine and just says we're leaving. Pan Am, you'll stop by later, right, honey? Next time, Ellie. I promise. Man, I kind of want to know what would have happened if I wanted to know, man. So, I'm off. Yeah, yeah, go on, go already. Call us sometime. Keep an eye on her, V. We'll do, guys, we'll do. Put it in the trunk. Cause I want city kid. Or street kid. Go. Hop in. All right, all right, all right. Mitch and Scorpion seem good souls. The best friends a girl could ask for. I'd stay in the camp too if I were in their shoes. Fuck Saul and his generators, of course. Yet the clan comes first. But I'm not part of it anymore. Still treated you like you're one of them. They well, care about good. you. Mm hmm Do you have anyone you would call close? Not right now, no. Could just be a matter of time, though. <laughs> okay. So, Rocky Ridge. Empty, dusty hole in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I heard. Natives either moved to Night City or just got the hell out. Then you know almost all there is to know. The whole area was waiting on a new interstate extension. It was supposed to breathe new life into the town. It didn't happen, of course. How many ghost towns do you think are there? Hundreds? Countrywide? Thousands. I drove down I-80 the other day. All you have to do is pull over after sundown. It's quiet then. And you hear it. What's that? The wind whistling through boarded up windows. Tumbleweeds scratching across dry, sandy tracks. That's how towns die. Not with a bang, but with whispers and whimpers. Oh, shit. Were those two in the army? Scorpion Mitch? Yeah. Panzer boys. 
They were on contract during the last war. Panzer boys. Flew those huge transporters. Scorpion piloted. Mitch ran security. They both got some kick-ass combat implants and a stack of really fucked up nightmares. <laughs> Seems you got a real problem with authority. What? Rogue, Saul. He your leader? Their leader. Seemed in a hurry to delta the hell out of there. Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. What happened? The reason we came to California was because he promised change for the Alda Caldos. He claimed we would turn over a new leaf. But you saw it. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. A hell of a promised land. I wanted something different. Better. Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. <sighs> well then, let us go take it over. Become the new leaders. What do you say? Hell? Yeah. Okay, I see what she means by dead city. Okay, right. we have arrived. All what right. do we do? We get ready to greet the Raffins, and we have little time for that. We'll need to improvise. We should scout first, to look for anything that might be useful. Doubt Rocky Ridge could be any deader. Everything's down. Nothing works here. Hmm. Well, have you found anything? No dice. Nothing's up. All cut off. Well, we'll make it work. The Raffins will roll in after dusk. We will have a surprise ready for them. We just need to get... Let's check the substation. Okay. There. Huh. Take it all. Found the breakers, but there's no juice on them. Not to worry. Come down. I know how to surprise the bastards. Oh, shit. Him. Right. So, the intersection is powered from that transformer substation, right? The switch gear on the roof. We'll flip the switch there, and everything will light up like Christmas. Understood? Fine idea. Let's get us some power. I'll look around for access points. Great. They're likely to show up in numbers. We can't know how many. We need to outfox them. Then get to my car somehow. Relax. Got a few ideas. I'll try to play a little game with them at the intersection. Hell yes. Perfect. As soon as they see the lights, they'll have to check who, why, and how. Nova. Yep. First we start up the control terminal below. The gear on the roof is a hunk of junk without it. Come on. We'll give it a boost from the car battery. That should do the trick. Wait for me by the substation. I'll bring the car around. All right, all right, all right. Wait in, wait in, wait in, wait in. Looks to be in good shape. I'll make a bypass circuit to the power supply. That should do it. We'll just have to get it up and running. Grab the jumper cables from the trunk. We'll boost it from the car battery. Cable connected. 
Give me a moment. I need to hook everything up here. And done. Now the Black Rattler. All right. There she goes. Thought the old jalopy served us well. Okay, I've got voltage. Start the terminal inside. And once the power is on in the building, get on that roof. You got it. I'll set up on the tower. We'll have the whole intersection on a platter. You flip <laughs> the breakers when I give you the signal to do so, understood? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Which gear's got power? Prime. We'll have some fun at the intersection. Let's get into position. Damn. Now we wait. Yeah, wait and Remember, chill. As soon as we see them, you give us power. Got it. Cover me, just in case. Of course. Yep. They're rolling in. In my thorn. You see her? Really, really hard to miss. Let's take them by surprise. Let's try to do this quietly. If anything happens, I'll start picking them off. Sound good? Sounds great. Those keys, thank you. Move. I'll take the wheel. Another minute, could you? <laughs> At last, I should move your seat up. And she's prime wheels, isn't she? Dreamy indeed. No surprise you wanted her back. She completes me. See? Managed just fine without Mitch and Scorpion. Listen, V, it's not over yet. It's not? You got the cargo, you got your car. I did not get Nash, who was not in Rocky Ridge. The fucker didn't show. Oh, <laughs> you're out of vengeance. It was about vengeance, the whole time. The hell you know about me? Either you're not being straight with me, or you don't know what you want. Hard to say which is Just worse. listen to me, for fuck's sake! I know where their little hidey hole is. We'll take the old unfinished freeway nearby. They will not be expecting us. I'm sure of it. 
Uh, oh. Okay. All right. So where's this hideout? A hop and skip away. <laughs> Thanks, V. What Nash did. What? I placed my trust in him. He was the first person I worked with after leaving the Alda Caldos. After I came to Night City. And I granted him my trust. I get it. Know how you feel. Had someone betray me just like that once. Shot and me too. Them pay? Never got the chance. Someone else got to him first. But if they had it, would you have done it? Without no a doubt. doubt. Without skipping a beat. Let's get this over with. Vengeance. It will be ours. Huh. Why is all this stuff on this side of the car, not over there? Are you ready? Let's get him. Of course, there's no like booby traps or anything. Oh, Jesus. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, uh... E... 55. Ah! Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, right in there, there you go. Is there no end to this madness? I work, Are you happy with the autonomous shooting function? Please jump to confirm. Yeah, I jumped. Heads up, reloading. Fun fact. Bloodstains can be removed using one and vinegar. Right. Wait, one easy trick and Happy. vinegar. Mm, almost. All right. Hello, Rogue. Pan Am. What did you say again? Solve your own problems? Clean up your shit? Nash is dead. One shit cleaned. Happy? And the 6th Street merch? Nash can't deliver it anymore. But if you ask nicely, I might be able to help you. Help me? I take my cut up front, honey. But I guess I'm touched. Was actually wondering if you wouldn't forget about Biz while you were out chasing down a vendetta. Fuck!
So, feel any better? Maybe a little. Let's get out of here. What bitter cold bitch that broke. Think she might have lost the plot. Mean to say she used to be sweet and alluring? Huh. <laughs> Never that. But she's no stranger to the other end of the stick. Think she might need a nice strong shock. That was fun. Hey boss. Got your cargo. No, no fast ones. Come on, let's meet. Sunset Motel. I know you're not kidding. I'm certain to be there. Okay, I arranged our meeting. Let's do the deal and start working on Hellman. Agreed? Should be fun. Sure, I could probably skip the ride, but who knows if I'm gonna miss out some cool dialogue. They're here. Let me do the talking. Sensing trouble? No. At least I don't think so. Hey, boss. Hey there. How's Nash? Didn't seem to be answering his phone. Don't call him anymore. There's no need. <laughs> you got balls, girl. What's this? A bonus of some sort? We work together. Hmm. Change tunes like you change clothes, girl. There. First class merch. Mm-hmm. Everything's in order? Check your account. Should be pretty plush in a couple of minutes. It's been a pleasure. But I believe Rogue's the one who is to pay me. You're all right. Think you earned a tip. Let's roll. Yeah, I'll take that. That went well. Come on. Let's get a drink. Um... Raffin's wiped, Six Street's pleased. Pretty good day for Pan Am Palmer. The day's not over yet. You still have a chance to piss me off. I think she's supposed to be holding her gun. <laughs> Hello, Noah. Hey. New biz or new friends back there? Take a wild guess. Is everything good with you? Did those bozos come around again? Raffins? Nah, it's been quiet. They'll be back, sure enough. This place has seen worse. What can I get you? Brosif. Two of them. So that package for Street, what was it? You didn't peek? Valoperidol. Drugs for the cyber psychos in our midst. They trade in them? Yes. They have deals. With black clinics, rippers... Yeah. Well, here's to that thorn of yours. Thanks for everything, partner. Another one over here. I took one swig, she chugged the whole bottle. Thanks, Noah. Cheers. Let me know if you need anything else. 
The Raffins. We done with them? Oh no. The shiver cockroaches. One's never rid of them. But it should be quiet for a time. They'll need to gather their wits and dust themselves off. The Aldecaldas. Think he'll ever go back? I mean, not right now, but... Give me. Someday? I don't rightly know. On the one hand, I don't have anyone outside the clan. Shit, I don't really know any other life. But on the other? Without my clan, who am I? Who would I become if I stayed in Night City? Huh. Could just start over again. That's what I did. Mm-hmm. For now, I only seem to be really good at burning bridges. Talking about Rogue? No. But thanks for reminding me. <laughs> v, do you think I can make a fresh start with her, too? She seems to better at ease on the right people. You'll work it out. Yeah, she's on her second. I'm not even fucking right. done my first yet. Time we look to my needs. <laughs> What's the plan for Hellman? I've come up with a plan. A first draft. But I need to sleep on it. Work it out. Then we can talk about the details. I think it's best to rent rooms here. Just to stay in the area. We'll get to work around midnight. It'll help keep us out of sight. Agreed? Maybe we rent just one room. Good idea. Noah has two twin beds in every room. We'll save some money. <laughs> Not exactly. Not quite what I had in mind. Just what did you have in mind? Just, um, <clears throat> glad to have met you. <laughs> so I thought... I'm glad we met too. That could have been a damned tough day. But thanks to you, it all went well. Maybe... Calls for a little celebration? Sure. We can celebrate. But not today. I'm beat. No one will need a room. Twin beds. Just for tonight. I'll go catch a few winks. Well, that didn't go well. <laughs> Follow her just so I know which room it is. <laughs> Look how she's still walking around like she's got her gun in her hand. Good night. Mm hmm. Man, they seem to have fucking blankets or anything. Just a pillow. No. Can I help? No, you can't. I'll be done soon. The Raffins left are crooked as a bag of snakes. Did you sleep all right? Can't complain. And you? Reasonably rested? I think you had nightmares. You screamed a few times. Really? Don't worry. I'm accustomed to that sort of thing. When Mitch and Scorpion came back from the war, they tossed and turned night after night. For months this went on. Whatever it is, it'll pass. Yeah, let's hope so. Huh, yeah. Come up with anything? For Hellman, I mean. As a matter of fact, I did. Look here. Okay, tell me. We're the wrench. The 
cutter is the AV. And the screwdriver is where the AV should bury its nose cone in the dust. Now, you must be wondering how we get the AV to do that. That old HMG of yours. My gun will be useful elsewhere. This caliber would barely dent the armor of a heavy hitter like that. There are other ways. Here. The clamps are solution. A satwave power station. Ah. Power station? Wait. You want to use an EMP? Bullseye. But how? We can't generate that sort of pulse on command. Would you like to bet me? We drive up to the power collection unit, break in and override the controls, lift any limiters. As soon as the AV is in range, we set off the electromagnetic turbo pulse. This should smoke the AV systems. To the drive. Nav systems. Communications. Everything. Out like a light. They won't stand a chance in hell. Hmm. Aren't you, uh, counting chickens? We can't actually know the AV will fly over the station. Of course we can, but we don't have to. You'll see. It's bound to be quite a ride. But not one you'll regret. I've got everything planned out. Huh. Remember, need Hellman alive, unharmed. Gotta try not to blow the AV to bits, okay? I know. But I'd say your man had best be buckled in. This idea, if it works, you'll be in for a rough landing. Alright. Alright. Let's ride. Let's Great. do it. Hop in. It's cold out here. Lady, I felt something warm while I was sleeping. And it sure as hell wasn't in my hands. Who owns this power station? <laughs> Dover Corp. Is there any difference? Who do you think pulls the government's strings? Hey, I'm just wondering whose toes we're about to step all over. V, look around. It is simple. Everything you see is owned by a corporation. Oh, yeah. You like to mess with the corpse, huh? Whatever gave you that idea. Or wait. Scratch that. Rogue, Nash, the Raffins. You're on thin ice, V. You just like to mess with everyone. Well, then I suppose it's a good thing I'm on your side, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and now for something completely different. Weirdest thing you've ever transported. Go. What? Are we playing 20 questions? Come on, answer. The deputy finance director of Kaukaz. That's chauffeuring, not smuggling. He rode in the trunk. Flatlined. Really? Dead? A long story. Maybe someday I'll tell you. Damn. Huh. We've almost reached the dam. We'll make a quick stop here. Okay. We need to calibrate you with a turret. I want you to be able to use the gun, too. It should up our chances in general. Connect here. How should I connect? Personal link? How else? Just watch the jack. Sometimes you have to jig a little bit. Wired in. Wait a moment. Diagnostics first. Shit, it keeps giving me an error. Odd. Let me work around it. And now, Pan Am, here's Johnny. Out in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Great work, V. Hey, uh, I think your implant has a virus. The one in the nape of your neck. Uh, I've got a bioprocessor in my head that's... Operates independently of me. Probably why your diagnostics flagged it. Mm-hmm. Okay. But no data will leak out of it through the personal link. Your ride's secure. Fine. I trust you won't fuck anything up. <laughs> well, I hope Johnny won't. Okay. Here goes nothing. See that pile of junk? Fire a short burst into it. I'll take care of the calibration. Good. Next target. Single shot. Okay. Just one more. Longer round. Great. We're done, I think. Now that wasn't so bad, was it? Calibration's fine, but your soft could really use an update. Scanner, controllers, 
All a couple of generations back, at least. There's better tech in the bargain bin at a Kabuki flea market. I can help you with that, you know. Yes, sure. The most important thing is that it works now. So where's this power station? You will see in a moment. I know a spot. We'll have a decent view from there. Oh. I just want to be sure the area is clear. Sabotage a Corpo power station. Jump a Corpo transport. Kidnap a Corpo suit. Is this a plug for the word Corpo, or do you have a point? Know what? You're starting to remind me of me. Fifty years back. Minus <laughs> the charisma. An impressive cock. Hmm. Maybe we can just get along. Could be something to that, I suppose. What happened to us, it must have had some effect. You're more like me than you think. You'll see. But it goes both ways. Maybe you're becoming more like me. Nah, no way. Haha. <laughs> All looks clear. The area looks deserted. I see no patrols. The huge thing is the collection unit. And see the antennas? Each antenna collects microwave energy from satellites in orbit. That's then converted into electric power. Antennas run a ways down the interstate. We set off a chain reaction that starts in the collection unit. Then each antenna will emit a massive EMP burst. While our AV flies right into our net. We just have to send out the pulse at the right moment. Let's go get her. When we arrive at the station, you overload the systems. I'll set up a bypass link for the detonator. Hmm. Why don't I start with the transformers? Make mayhem in the relative voltages. Rest should move faster after that. Not a bad idea. That's just... Yeah, yeah, I know, the converters. But they shouldn't be a problem. I'll just crank everything up past max. Seems we think alike. Hmm. So what now? We wait. We should time our arrival to the AV flight plan. Got it. Good. Time to roll. All right. Done anything Sometime. like this before? Downing an AV? By myself? No. Why do you ask? Huh. Power station, EMP, the systems, networks. Came up with a really solid plan. Thank you. How you approach things, that's the trick. Mine is the AAA. Wait, what now? Assessment, <laughs> assembly, action. Whatever your task, you do three things. Start by assessing what you already have and what you'll face. The problem. Then you plan with those variables in mind. Take what you have, get what you need, assemble things, people. Finally, you take action. Simple. Got one word for you. T-shirts. Triple A. It's all you need to lead the good life. That and the occasional cold beer. <laughs> Your method. Triple A. That all you? <laughs> Not at all. I learned it from the Aldecaldos. Mitch and Scorpion. They were trained in something like it during the war. Then they made it their own. It's come in handy, I can't deny. And it will again now. What yeah. if, uh, something goes ass up? Well, then your ass had better improvise. Did you really think I'd just give you a foolproof secret to success? Gotta say, almost like <laughs> you believe in just that. You're too much sometimes, V. Um... Okay, we'll be there in a moment. One last time. We drive in, fuck up the system, and get the hell out of there. Hold on tight. This could get a little bumpy. All right. Ready. Okay, I'm ready. Drones! I'll deal with them. Deal quick before they hit us! Good enough. Is that all of them? Mm-hmm. Provided we hurry. <laughs> Find the controls. I'll connect the detonator. Quick, V. Ah, shit.
Come on. Breathe. Ah, oh, shit. I think we might have overdone it, Pan Am. He'll survive. Huh. Do you see that? All lit up and blinking like a Christmas tree. Girl, you tree. wanted 11. You got 11. Fuck yeah. Let's get out of here before it lights us up, too. Yeah. Let's get the fuck out of here. V, get the fuck out before something happens to the chance of the tip. You know, I was just about to set up a picnic. Maybe lay out. Work on I my mean, base, Dan. Watch out. The next one might. Johnny? Johnny? Fucking hell. Damn, Johnny. Y'all good, man? Okay. I'm fine. It's... It's okay, just... It's okay, I'm fine. Yeah. Just... Delta the fuck out. Not the cleanest job, perhaps, but it still went well. What about the detonator? Is it working? Yes, it's working. And I don't even see a drop in the signal strength. We just need to drive far away enough to keep the pulse from blasting us, too. The cliff there. We'll set up. It should give us a good view of the antennas. And then we wait. Okay. Man, we're doing a lot of waiting. Here. Like a very. Always wanted to push the big red button on something like this. How do we know when? Don't worry. I'll have eyes on it. You just wait for my signal. Then set off that pulse. They won't know what hit them. And by the way... What? We are about to knock a multi-million euro dollar Kang Tao asset clean out of the sky. How does that make you feel? Huh. Blast and shit. Exactly what the doc ordered. And that's exactly what I like to hear. Just noticed. What? It's quiet. The hum of the city, people's voices, the smells. It's all gone. Wind just intensifies it. Think I forgot quiet exists. Mm-hmm. Though maybe not the smells. I mean, the coyotes. Rather hard to miss. Thought that was just the air freshener in your Thornton. Ha ha. Screw you. You'd do better to focus on the AV. Keep your eyes open. All right. It's there, coming from Pacifica. All right, get ready. One more second. One more. Now. Boom. There she is. Shit. What's, What's going? Happening? Fan fucking tastic. Fuck. Bullseye. Pan Am, the engines are still running. Fuck, they're getting away. They're going nowhere. We gotta go after it. Give me a moment. Pan Am, what are you doing? I should get him. Fucking. I should get to shoot it down. Um. That's how you do it. It's losing altitude. We got the bastard. Let's go. We got it! No way it stays in the air after a blast like that. We either land or crash. You catch that? Yeah. Over. AV. Unmarked. Losing out. Mitch! There? Scorpion! What the hell are Finishing they doing? Finishing up at the generators. Follow them. On my way in a bit. Battery Mitch, should sort Scorpion, itself out. It's Pan Am! Don't go near that AV! I repeat, do not approach the AV! Mm -hmm. On the way, or I'll start the party without you. It's Kang Tao! Wait for me! Or better, get the hell out! They probably want to help the survivors, without knowing it's corporate. They can't hear me! The pulse is interfering! Shit! I have three on radar! Drones? Yes. Get ready. Alright. They're trying to slow us down. We won't let them. We have to reach Mission Scorpion. Yeah. 
problem. Not shooting. Shit! Probably jammed again. I'll fix it. <sighs> Hold on tight. Going on autopilot. Okay. Mm, seized up. Son of a They're bitch. On our tail. Pan out. I know. Fucking latches. Don't want to open. Just a second. Fuck! Pan out. It's nothing. I'm fine. Okay, it should work. For the time being, at least. Time being's all we need. Huh. Woo, baby. Behind that hill. Well, one last thing to uh. worry about. Uh, shit. Pan Am, you okay? It's fucking ricochet. Think you can manage? Sure. I'll live. Don't worry. You fucking better. Hey, man, where are you? Hello? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Scorpion. Keep broadcasting over an open channel, just in case they missed you the first time. God, I swear. Something's not right. Did you hear those shots? V, something happened to them. Let's check it out. I see the wreck, but no Scorpion or Mitch. Oh. Looks expired. Fuck it. <sighs> v, connect to the drone. We'll scan the area. We have to get our bearings. All right. Let's roll. You connecting to visual? Mm-hmm. If they got the Altacaldus, if they got Mitch and Scorpion, I can't. I don't know. I know. Connected. I'm in control. Combat drones. Defense system is active. They secured the area. They're waiting for reinforcements. Shit. V, this does not look good. Oh, no. No, no. Hmm. I'm... I'm sorry. Your clan? Altacaldos. Yes. They're dead. All of them. V, if they... Don't worry. We don't know for sure. Set up the launcher. They'll tear us to shreds if we get too close. Can we take it down somehow? Maybe. But we have to get there first. Got five Kangs on patrol. There we go. Jesus, that was annoying to scan. Oh. Disconnect. Okay. If not for those damned glitches, I could have warned them! This is all my doing! Why in the hell were they following the AV? The fools! Listen, we saw Mitch. They probably got Scorpion too. We'll find them. Help them out. If they're still alive... They're alive. Everything's gonna be okay. Mind that launcher. It will blow us to bits if we approach. Okay, here's the plan. You stay in the car. No, I... not so fast. I will go with you. Those are my people. Pan Am. 
Hate to break it to you, but you're hurt. Wait in the car. I'll try and take out the launcher. I... Fine. But I have Mitch's rifle. And we'll try to cover you from here. Good idea. Let's move. I was gonna say, what the hell do I, gun do I have at the moment? Alright. Let's, uh, let's say before we go frolicking into possibly a death sentence. Alright. Why not? Um. Yeah, let's uh, deactivate the turret. Path's clear. I'm coming for you. All right, baby, I'm waiting. Ah, uh, that's one way to do it. Shoot! I repeat, drop your weapons now. Huh. Are you all right? Uh, just some scratches. You fucking morons! Did you get hit? Hang on, girl. I'll patch it's you up. It's nothing. Let's go. We couldn't retreat, Pan Am. They regrouped so fast. Started shooting rockets and shit. I lost everyone. Everyone? Scorpion, is he here? Mitch? Mitch? He's... He's safe, Pan right? Pan Am, I'm sorry. I didn't make it in time. No! No! Are you sure? No, he... Scorpion, the rest. I'm sorry we didn't get here sooner. They were good people. Great people. Aww. They didn't have to die here. I should have stopped him. I tried. He wouldn't have listened to you either. Never was much of a listener. Stubborn bastard. I'm guessing since you were out here, you were out here for the AV. The question is why? Why dive straight for the AV? Didn't notice the markings? We saw it was damaged. We know this land. We knew where it would fall. We had no idea it was Kang Tao. I figured they might need help. In the worst case, there'd be good salvage to be had. Couldn't have been more wrong. Huh. I need the guy who's riding this AV. You know anything. See anything. Took him with him. In our cars. Where? West, small unit, your passenger's entourage. Must be looking for a way to call base. So you're the ones who hit him with that EMP? Yeah, we tried to warn you, but couldn't connect. If they took your cars, we might be able to follow their tracks. Pan Am, listen. I know it's not the best time, but I need Hellman. You promised to help. That still hold? 
I always keep my word. Mitch, I will find those sons of bitches. I swear. Go. I'll call the crew. Get all this cleaned up. We'll leave my ride here just in case. Just watch the gun. It likes to jam. We'll go by bike. Sounds good. Kang Tao lost contact with their AV. Probably looking for it. Better hurry. But Pen Am... What? You're coming back for her, right? I promise. <laughs> Let's get going. Before they send a rescue party. Scorpion and the rest. Look, I know how you feel. I mean it. I'll help you settle your score with Kang Tao. I will destroy them, V. Every last one. We're in this together. To the bitter end. You know what, V? You're all right. You help me with Nash, you help me with Mitch. To my mind, I owe you a favor. Your Hellman. I will find him. Ah, so that's what this is? Just paying your debts? No. Nomads always help their own. Oh, so I'm one of yours now. Sounds <laughs> good. Let's ride. Hope they didn't go far. We'll see. The tire tracks start there. We'll follow them. Our guys were here. Let's follow. Find them. Wait, what was that optional one? Oh. Oh, was it a oh, I said I would hate Night City. You knew you that well. Probably better than I know myself. You said when I had enough of the city, who would stock up on can kibble, fill a couple of thermoses with coffee and whiskey, and the road. He said we would get away from it all. Sounds like a real adventure. Yeah. Why is everything shit, shit, shit? Hey, I know. Look, you're alive. All I see is cracked concrete and rust. If they thought they would call their friends, they were in for one hell of a surprise. Oh, wait, I think it was a uh, spawn in, uh... All right. Wipe them out, oh. V. Oh yeah! Quite the fireworks show. That's for my friends, you assholes! Lay it on him. Grenade coming! The rest must have taken Hellman with them. Better hurry then. That's one of our one of their rides. Let's check it. Dunno if we'll find anything else here. Enough. There's nobody here. Better check where Kang Tao took him. Fast. You were right. Nomad's car did die. They tried to put her back on her feet. But the oil pump died. Pistons couldn't take it. Give us a few minutes, maybe, but they still got a head start. Left a few peeps behind at the airstrip. Rest went with Hellman. I would have done the same. They're looking at all their people. The last they want is to ride through the desert without backup. I've always huh? contacted the Alden Kelders. All that damn interference. They're coming for him. Don't worry. You know what? What? This is These tracks lead up past the hill to an old filling station. I wager that's where they're holding Hellman. All right, uh, let's go. Yeah, so I think the optional was either get on the motorcycle or was get on okay. it. Covering you. Drones, patrols. I see. Oh, they shit. must have Hellman locked up somewhere. I was trying if to he, crouch. See that? The pumps look pretty good. Not what you would find if the place were closed. The bastards might have managed to call for transport. We'll know soon enough.
Hmm. How's voice mount function? No. Forces a turret targeting into manual mode. I wonder if it now will shoot me. Oh. oh, I can't. Well, not what I thought, as I thought like it would be like once I turned did that, it would be like oh, they were then. Smart weapon. Where are they? We need to resync. Uh, there you go. Come in. He has to be. According to traditional Christian doctrine. You are going to burn in hell. Don't worry about it, my friend. Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. The hell are you doing here? This is my station. Name's Marty. Those fucking suits rode up like they own the place. Took everything. Put me here and locked the door. Ah. Don't look too concerned. Ain't my first rodeo. Once the dust falls, the problems disappear one way or another, and I... I just dust myself off and get back to work. All right. Brought a man with them. A man I need. Civilian. He must have spotted him. Mm-hmm. I ain't blind. Where are they holding him? Old garage. Room upstairs. Probably keeping him there. Thanks. I were you, I'd stay put for a few. Exactly my intention. All right, Mata. Know where they're keeping Hellman. Going in. Okay, covering you. Reason for firing. I'm done. <laughs> Wasn't really trying to fire, I was trying to just look down the scope. Sent you. Hey, easy. We gotta talk. Who are you working for? You're in Obu Arasaka. Do you wish to take me back? Pathetic rat's got nowhere left to scurry off to. He's out of lifelines. Shut him up already. Uh. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. Hmm. Don't take this personally. 
seem to recall you were gonna tell Takamura when you got Hellman. Yeah, just a sec. I'll call him. Just remember, you have Hellman, and that's one hell of a card. Try to win something with it. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just biz. He's no friend of yours. Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive? What did he say? Alive, alive. Not too talkative now. Taking him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. See ya. Better take him somewhere you can talk in peace. True. <laughs> Looks like your new Chimbas are here. Is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. Stay right there. The cavalry has arrived. Mitch gathered together a few elder Kelmans. <clears throat> the road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do better not to hang around too long. What do you plan to do with him? Huh. Just gotta ask him a few important questions. I sure hope you get some important answers. Oh, how's he kind of going through her? Saul. Everything's done here. All clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. Saul, I tried to race Scorpion, but he... Maybe I could help out somehow? I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Look, Saul. It really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy-buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure. Right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing. My fault that A.V. got hit. Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. That's the truth. When you're in Aldo Caldo, you are always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still in Aldo Caldo. Damn it all. Huh. Hey, don't worry about Saul. He'll get over it. I don't give a damn. But he gives a damn about you, Pan Am. As soon as he heard what had happened, he ordered us to follow you. He was worried something would happen Saul? to you. Saul? That was his? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but your family and Saul will do anything for family. Yeah, family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. <laughs> I understand. Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Dramatic sometimes. But I will manage. And you. You look out for yourself, all right? Are so, doing what now? Back to Night City? Yeah. I mean, I think so. I have to sit and think. About everything. Saul, Mitch, they really treat you like family. Maybe you should give them a chance. It is not that simple. Like any family. They're coming. You have about a minute to get out of there. Let's move! I'm also headed out. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours. All right, buddy. I'll enter the bike. You go. Guess I just rode on top of him all the way there. Or just walked the bike. <sighs> hey, sleepyhead. Hey. Where am I? What is this place? 
Motel, middle of nowhere. Any specific middle? Doesn't matter. You're not leaving here by yourself anyway. Why are we here? Want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arasaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arisaka didn't send you? No. Nope. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. Hmm. Nobody sent me. I got a problem, and you're gonna help me. And what does that have to do with the biochip? Got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy, and I know it's only gonna get worse. That is, unless I remove it. And that... None of that's on the billboards I saw. Not even in the fine Silverhand? Constructed? That's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Clept it off Yorinobu Arasaka. Job for a client. But the client left me out of And drive. you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, wasn't a bad idea. Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. I always knew Yorinobu's huh. plan would fail. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. Arisaka's prized tech really is in the very streets of the city. Yep. You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. I, don't, uh... I know you can't just yank it out. My Ripper you said... You showed that to some fucking street doctor? Who else knows? I needed help. Or did you think the first thing that came to mind was down in a Kang Tao AV? How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more... Aware. Aggressive? The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved engrams. And it was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. Huh. How exactly was this new version supposed to work? Were you planning to have the engram kick people out of their own bodies? Is that shit by design? During the tests, we assumed that the body would be... neurally indifferent during implantation. You mean dead? Yes. Which makes what happened to you interesting indeed. Okay. How do you put a price on immortality? Who could even afford tech like this? Nobody. This model was meant to remain in-house. The prototype was Saburo Arisaka's personal commission. He oversaw the entire project himself. So if it weren't for Yorinobu, nobody would have found out. And if not for you, the project would not have been a success. This is a true breakthrough. Well, I'm glad it worked. I guess I'm lucky. Huh. Imagine my luck to be so fucking unique, so fucking exceptional. That mean you'll help me? Well, well. I would have to see it first. Alright. Okay. Hmm. Unbelievable. It looks like... Can't believe this Seuss the one who's gonna help us. Oh, fuck. Impressive, isn't it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig, too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing... I could Woo -hoo, do. Woohoo, it's bargaining time. Is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. What? Wait, you said the project was in the trial phase. You don't actually know how it'll end. Oh, I do. I just saw the construct devouring your brain. 
It's programmed to take over its new environment. At all costs. And your little meat brain is helpless against this. And no matter what, sooner or later the engram wins. Yes. And from what I've heard about Silverhand, that seems to be exactly his style. Huh. I see my reputation's grown into Arasaka legend. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me. What's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You're both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. Huh. I can see him and talk to him. Yeah, You're not see him, talk talking, to him. But yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Sheesh, give it a rest. Huh. Uh, what do you mean, Doc? What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomb. Oh, fuck me, who's trying to mess with your head now? <laughs> that is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. Well, at least Johnny never made a whore of himself. At least Johnny never whored himself out like you. Are you defending him? Or is that Johnny speaking now? That's oh, not us. He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little while. No. Would you, though? Could be fun. Johnny, kidding. <laughs> watch out. Suit's getting ready to talk your head off. All right. Get right you know to what? it. That's enough. You just playing for time? Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? So, I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. I'll try doesn't cut it. I'll try just isn't gonna cut it. Actually, it's almost like you're trying to buy your way in with the Chinese. At my expense. Do you even realize how much data is in your head? Even if I can't help you, the data must be saved. Well, fuck me sideways. What a half-brain gonk. You just admitted you're right. Get Tao. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to gonk's fucking useless without him. Hey, Takamura. Hey, buddy. What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice. Man, I like the jacket he's wearing. I'm almost done. The blueprints. Huh. Better than nothing. Long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. Ugh. What'll you do with him? I haven't decided yet. Are you serious? You know me. I can be impulsive. Huh. All right. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Ah, this heat. My throat is positively parched. Hmm. V did not give you even a glass of water. Unacceptable. Inhumane. That is not me. You will see the difference. I will give you full buckets. No, uh, no need. <laughs> See that? Fuck me, just look at that. <laughs> Owie. Sons of bitches. Huh. You really are paranoid. You don't see it? Way corpse are stripping our world and lives naked, piece by piece? Can't turn a blind eye to that. Hmm. Whatever you gotta say, say it. 
Got something eating at your code, that's clear. Been trying to learn how you're wired this whole time. To know who I'm dealing with. Thought you were just unlucky at first. But I kept watching and finally realized what your problem is. You're a dirt boy from Haywood who found the guts to walk a few extra blocks from home. But uh. turned out the best you can do is chase scabs for Annie's. You seem to know a lot about my past. Well, seeing flashes of your past, just like you've seen flashes of mine. Huh. Honestly, I'm scared of the day I'll start seeing your memories as my own. Shit. If it's a two-way street, I'll somehow have to live with the fact that I let Deshaun best me. Fuck me over. Huh. How's life in my body? I find life under my skin. Well, most things are either too big or too small. Not to mention the clusterfuck that are your hormones. <laughs> and the lag between sight and touch. Infuriating. When you take a bite of pizza, it takes ages before I know you fucking burn the roof of your mouth. Plus, used to be five minutes wouldn't pass before I had a fresh cig in my hand. Now I'm itching for nicotine. Getting used to it, I guess. But it's no fucking picnic. So, listen. Will... Will I notice a change, or... Is it one of those things where... I wonder why I ever feared it? Worst thing you can do to a human. Rip their identity out of them. That's all I know. Can you just tell me what you want? What you really want? What you really, Help really me want? settle my score against Arasaka. That's it. Your goal is to bury Arasaka. Demolish it. Mine's to stay above ground. You seem pretty clearly defined, both. Actually aligned pretty nicely, too. You need Mikoshi to save your life? That done? I can burn it to the ground. There it is. The Crusade. Get to Mikoshi, smash the system. Okay. I'll tell you why I want to destroy Arasaka, but I'll only tell you once. Want to hear it? Alright. Alright. Hey man, I'll hear it. I saw a corpse strip farmers of water, and eventually of land. Saw them transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits, broken dreams, and emptied pockets. Corps have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. Might be right. Can't really argue with you there. V. I've declared war not because capitalism's a thorn in my side or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. This war's a people's war against a system that spiraled out of our control. It's a war against the fucking forces of entropy. Understand? Johnny, take a sec. We Do gotta... whatever it takes to stop them. Defeat them. Gut them. If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll fucking take it. Johnny. Fucking hell. <laughs> you still don't see it. But you will one day. Well, you show me that. It is good to see later. you, B. Seems pretty, uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. You look awful. What the hell happened? Look close to awful. You see a man robbed of his implants, money, and dignity. Look well. It is not all bad. I am mostly unnoticed in the streets. Huh. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Will he finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's from the carrier at anchor in the bay. Saburo's daughter. 
Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. Huh. Sure, yeah. Sure you can trust him? Yes. <laughs> Convincing. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to lose. Is that better? Worse. Because I got plenty to lose. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. I love a girl, how are you? Oh, let's go. Just down here, girl. There's my pretty lady. Takemura-san. Oda. Is this him? Your thief. He's my witness, B. Can't speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Huh. Was there, saw what happened. Yorinobu strangled the old guy. Silence! Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly. I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about a silly parade? Fool! <sighs> Correct. Unlike you, I have... But you can't thing. ignore the truth. Hi, baby girl. Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor now. Sorry, but is this gonna take much longer? <laughs> You're just I looking do at... you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to Yorinobu Sama. What would you do now? Were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu Sama. Consider yourself lucky. Oda, not like we're asking for a whole lot here. Just one brief meeting. Hanako should decide if what we say is true. You can't decide for her. Will you help? I will not. But I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. I was gonna say, he's gonna Good leave the car. Fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. Fine friend there. Got any more? Alas, only him. Well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes. And obtained something useful. Hmm. How do you figure that? He did not kill us. What Oda said. They returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps. If somehow we can get to Hanako-sama, we must do a oh. proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? No, just a fixer dame. Wakaku Akada. Runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. All right. Will you join me? Sure. sure. Why not? Huh. 
Who the fuck is this? What time is it? No, it's past 3.30. JJ Street. What is this name? <laughs> Just a night city name. Beware. You mock me too often. You all right, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? Have shared interests, you and I. Where have you forgotten? Certainly not. Good. Because catching lead in Night City is easier than catching a cold. And I need you alive. I am alive and well. As you can see, you should worry about yourself. Hey, I'm alive and well too. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from Ugh. what I see on TV. Yorinobu and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. That's what it says. This is some sad ass music we're listening to there. For some company tonight? I already have five. Yeah, you found it. Baby. You can't force a six on me. Yeah, Sir. nope. Sir. Mm, how I miss the sound. Rogue, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. Huh. Well, well, who do I spy but V? In my humble parlor, no less. Wukako, long time no see. So what brings you here? And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together. That's all. Takemura Goro desu. Okada-san, oai dekite kohei desu. Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, oh, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Hmm. Would have already made the call if you intended to. Simple. You're curious to see what we got. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Hmm. Let's start with the eddies you already owe me. Sandra Dorset job? Weren't in any rush to collect before. Surely you can wait a little longer. V, now is not the time. Tell Okada-san what we come for. <laughs> Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japan Town. So it's Arasaka. Again. What I fail to understand is... Why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? Goro, remind me why Dex's fat, backstabbing ass is currently indisposed. He is deceased. Butchered and dumped in a landfill by some Arasaka goon. Real shame that. That a threat I detect? No threat, no. Asked why I couldn't reach Dex, I answered. Just facts, nothing more. <laughs> Good, cause you would then have to join him. Okada-san, our intentions are honorable. We need just information. It is a matter of life and death. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you 
it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? For free? You sure? Got my reasons. But patience, I got none. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll take it. Japan Town. Whole district mm -hmm. is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi Platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, the guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japan town and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Thanks, Wukako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. We have some outstanding biz to settle. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. Here is your reward. It comes with a fairly ample bonus. Go see a Ripper Doc. They'll weave you a dermal imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. A Tiger Claw specialty. Hmm. <laughs> A delightful, mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Bye. Stay safe, Goro. You as well. It, Until next time. V, it's a good My thing trouble. you answered. I could probably use your help. Probably? You I don't trust. Fine. And I, I could really no use your help. Patience. Can we meet? Be best if you left. Now. Just tell me when and where. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Swing by the Aldecaldos camp. I'll explain it all. The Aldecaldos? Thought you parted ways. Oh, look, it's a long story. Just hurry over. Can't I'm speak here. or what? V, it's good you're here. What happened? Spit it out. The Wraiths took Saul. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure it was Wraiths? We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Saul. I don't know why, but... I felt I could count on you. Huh. <sighs> Always Pan Am. You and me are chooms. Thought that was clear. Careful, or I'll start believing that. You won't <laughs> be able to get rid of me. I'll survive, I'm sure. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Grad. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, Take fancy all of a sudden you. becomes kick ass. Let's go. <laughs> Mitch will walk you through oh. the details. You want to do uh, okay? That's what you want to do. Uh, could you well, maybe have... Pan Am and V? What's going on there? Oh, you 
After what happened to Scorpion, he shows up here? Guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, Panna. Seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. <laughs> Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Huh. You never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Hmm. Okay, how you want to do this? Quietly. An open assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up the recon. You'll sneak into the Wraith's camp while I cover you. Going in quiet. Two's all you need. It's not that I don't want to go to serve some raffins up some justice. It's just... Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our well, supplies are stuck outside like... goddamn Reno, and our gear... Carl... Don't get me started. Carol is we're fucking, like, Creek. Uh, Judy. And I don't know if Your leader gets nabbed, and you, what, hope for the best? Rather than I think about what you do mm -hmm. for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! He has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. What's the matter, little one? I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look, or would you rather keep mouthing off? Mitch, how you been? Wishing duct tape could right all the world's wrongs. And hey, it shouldn't be me occupying your thoughts, but Saul. You taking a look or not? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a mass of heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time... Do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in. Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections. Do you see the tracks? Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building, there. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. Be like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. Hmm. 
They haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts. You could access the local camnet. You would just need to find the control room. So much stuff. I love how he said this thing sucks juice. And it's like I'm just sitting here taking my sweet times. Literally scanning everything. The skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay, got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Yep, let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. Cool. Good job. I mostly improvised, actually. Either way, it'll have to do. Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet. A rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Alright. Hope so. Doubt I could carry him out of my back. So, that should be everything. V. Will you ride with me? Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. One me driving. Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. Gonna say, whoa, whoa, what the hell? That word. What's going on with my ass? Oh, it must be the new I am plant. Take it for a spin if you like. I wonder if there's like a song that she'll like, she'll like turn it to or something. It's like I'm flipping through the channels to see if like oh, if it's kind of like something like insane. I still for real. can't believe he let himself get captured. Anyone else? But Saul? Said yourself, he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but moving civilians across the border during a bombardment. Hijacking a petrochem tanker, opening the valves, cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show. That's the song I remember. All that are idols. I know. It's <laughs> just... one hell of a storm looking bad oh it's bad in more than its look we have to move quickly okay we need to hide the car park beside that outcrop okay out okay. I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight you just watch yourself down there
Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's supposed to, it's still thinking I'm part of the drone or some shit. Why am I going to the main building? Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, it was just something. It was because it was that was on my screen. That was dumb. Oh, sorry, Lucky. Sorry, you okay? Just petting you. I love how my car is just right there. Access to the security system. Hmm.
All right, let's see what we got. Dynamon V3, okay, um... Keep your head okay. down and plunge near the main head. structure. That has to be where they're holding Saul. What the? Damn it! Stay out of sight! Okay, main building. Watch for vermin. Saul is somewhere inside. I feel it in my bones. Remember what I told you. Find the control room and you'll gain access to the security cams. That's all, I think. Locked in the cellar. How is he? It's hard to say. Too dark. Okay, get down there and get him. Maybe we made it. God damn it, thief! So much for being sly. <laughs> hey, I tried to be sly as a mouse. Come here, guys. Come on, we grab on the damn thing.
know who you're fucking with. Should have stayed down, bruh. Right. Think I got eyes on him. Is he breathing? Think so. Good. Grab him and get out of there. Saul. Do, do, do you have my goddamn cigar? Easy, Saul. I'm here with Pan Am. Pan Am. But she left. Not forever. I'm gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. Pretty badly beat. Probably could use this. Uh, oh, yeah. So, how is he? Time to don my dancing shoes. He'll live. Now get yourselves out of there. Middle of a shitstorm down here. Bruin to be a category five. I know. Get out of the building. I'll be right there. Brace yourselves. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Thank God I bought this. The cavalry is about to arrive. Main gate, be ready. Hurry, up in the back. Oh, it's a fucking dust storm. Pan Am, you're making a mistake. Another you're one. You're serious right now? Those devils wanted to know our location. If we drive to camp now, you'll just be setting the table for them. You look outside lately. The storm will wipe our tracks. And the scent of blood? What? Must have rustled up reinforcements. We got more chomping at our tail. <laughs> that was We need to shake him. That's one way to treat an engine. Fuck off, Saul. I can't squeeze any more out of it. Cut off that tail. Get ready. All right. Shelter. I know, damn it. There's an abandoned farm nearby. I'll get us there. Fuck my head. You up to kill me? Don't 
over up to several minutes after decapitation. This ought to slow him down. Woo! We got him! There we go. <laughs> Out of way, girl. Couldn't have done it better myself. Hey. Thanks. Holy shit. Just looking at outside fucking nuts. Do you see those buildings? We'll wait it out there. I remember this place. It should be safe, at least for now. Yeah. All right, seeing that I have... Oh. I was gonna say, seeing that I have the... The wire, I can... Swap out the blade for something else. Inside, quick! Uh, I need to catch my breath. Yeah. So I'll swap that back. Oh, okay. Oh, kid. Just in time for dinner. Not hungry. I just swallowed a pound of sand. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, V? I'll search in here. Sure. A lot of useful things. The angle's left in a hurry. Biotechnica made them a good oh. offer. Yeah, prime. Sell us your land. Or... You don't know that. Oh. No bulldozers, no backhoe loaders ever showed up. Lousy, rotten way to get them out. Deal with the corp, you end with nothing, Saul. Don't go there. Not now. Hey, it worked! We have lights! Yay, I can see what the hell I'm doing. Can I change my weapons now? No, I cannot. Damn, it's getting cold. I tried to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this junk burning. Anything else? Your Excellency? Huh. I'll need to think about it. Though it'll be the end of our friendship if Saul freezes to death. <laughs> God damn. See what I see? Expiration date's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky? Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? No. No lecture. <laughs> but we do need to talk. That Wraith's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. Our camp locations, routes, off-loading points. 
If they knew what state we're in, one or two more red... <sighs> it's not the time for this. You're both exhausted. Maybe you're right. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? Vade, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. I gotta agree with Pan Am. Sounds like a truly shitty idea. Thanks. What could you possibly know about it? You know what I always liked about nomads? Your taste. Uh, no. Your hunger for freedom. It's not easy to come by in Night City. Oh. Philip's got their grubby claws and everything. And I just can't believe you'd hand them what you hold to be most precious. Thank you, V. I could not have said it better. <laughs> We've had our spats. A few. Like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. <laughs> but right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Haboobs. Damn, I love that word. Haboobs. Well, what was that about? <laughs> to haboobs. Yeah. To haboobs. <laughs> now that packs octane. <laughs> Funny. What is? I rarely sleep with a roof overhead. Yet this will be the second time with you. When you're on the road, day into night into day, your butt basically fusing with your seat. You forget what it's like. And? You think this is any better? No, just different. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? Little fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am. Mm hmm. I couldn't ask for more. How's your whiskey, ma'am? Hmm. Warm. Subtle metallic aftertaste. Bold, yet smooth. Four out of five stars. <laughs> ma'am, I'm sure you'd be cozier with your shoes off. <laughs> After a full day in them, I'd fear a health code violation. Nonsense. After a day as full as today, you deserve to kick back. <laughs> uh, and what did you have in mind? Got a few ideas. Think you know what kind? Uh, <clears throat> the... Oh. No. It's really nice as is. Let's not spoil it, okay? I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Didn't know what I was thinking. Oh, it's fine. Truly. Don't let it worry you. Right. So, friends, then. B, I'm glad you came. Really. Thanks. It meant a lot to me. <sighs> Do you hear that? Nope. Hmm. Mm-hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plain, I sure can't get any shut eye. Not a wink. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. Ha 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 ha.
That's cute. Kind of sucks that it's got shot down twice. Oh, I'm on it. Did this couch get fucking bigger? Oh, I think I just left by my left alone there. Look who's alive. Hey, did you sleep all right? Good work, V. Old style raid. Hey, you gotta agree now. Next time I choose the mo <laughs> if okay. there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> it's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. Just not want to kick back and relax, are you? It's not my style, no. I'm back with the <laughs> clan, sure. But I have things to do. Come on. Last night, when we were talking to Saul, thanks for standing up for me. Though, one thing, the wraiths, the raid, it's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Whereas you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Aldecaldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Damn! Putting her in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Uh, hold up. About last night. We don't need to talk about that. I'm just not like that. So what are you like? More like this. Woo! You know, she just whacked Take a gun yourself. into my face. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted. Circumstances were different. I'd say saddle up and ride after her. But here and now, just look. Damn hard to catch a girl like that. Only hope you've got is they feel a pang and stop to wait. What's with you? Don't know, a memory, maybe. <laughs> Don't matter. Okay, back to town. <laughs> Headed up to here with this gusty outback. 